Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 25 of We Happy Few. So, is this police guy still standing out there? No. Um, so, last time I said I wanted to check out this shelter here, because I wanted to see if there's an access hatch. This is what I'm gonna do now. Okay, that's it. That's the old hatch. At least it's not guarded anymore. So there should be a track access hatch here, right? Exactly. Very well. So why is this hatch still unknown? But I think... Okay, I'm just gonna go here because we should be able to travel back here now. And we've been there, right? Okay, I'm just gonna go there. That's a long travel. Fly me to the moon, would you? Oh. So this is how it looks. Well. I am so glad Foggy Jack doesn't live down there. So what is this mystery about Foggy Jack? Is it some kind of a... Um, whoa. Some kind of a creature to scare the villagers. Oh boy. Should I change my clothes again? Just to be sure. Maybe I should. Um. It's not a lovely day. memory up there. So, is he even still alive? Okay, he's dead anyway. So. I won't let anyone take my little girls away. How do you plan to manage that? You mustn't lie to them. I'm not. I said, how do you plan... Oh, so that was the day that that Sally's mother prepared to end it. Okay. Um, I need something to eat as well. I'm just gonna eat a mushroom. That looks unhealthy. Didn't change my hunger though. Okay, I'm just gonna eat a blue currant because I know that this helps. <laughs> What's the scary song? Okay, so where are we? Whoa! Lovely weather. Uh huh, definitely. Where are we? Well, it's still new. What? Oh. It's a statue. <laughs> of the rat catcher. Well, so how far do we have to go? Oh, it's, it's, it's a, it is a bit, so... I'm just wondering, are there a lot of people here? Or what is here? Does there something live here? But yeah, it does. Those are waste trolls, right? Plague waste trolls. Okay, I think I'm gonna take some distance. Okay, there's another one. What's this pink thing? Oh, that's just a light. What? No! Oh. oh no! Oh no, now we're done for. Okay, they just don't run, run into me now. I should be good. That's a very nice perk. 
that we can hide in plain sight. Whew! <laughs> I didn't see that guy. I, that surprised me. Okay, you can leave again. I'm not. I'm not doing them any harm. Well, although they are crazy, so I guess I can talk to them reason reasonably. So I think that's the right way. <sighs> this is a very this is very eerie. So okay, it's a little bit more. So they're all over there, so maybe I'll make it to this flower bush in time. Yeah. Okay. Just turn suspicious. Hey! Oof. Scared that someone would run into me again. Okay, can you turn back now? You're walking through the bushes again? No. You have a very strange walk pattern. Oh, there's water here. Okay. They're everywhere. I wonder if there's something in this tower. I would like to take a look. There's no one here. There's no one looking in my direction, I guess. <gasps> okay. What's in here? Oh, I bet it's another... Oh! It's another track access hatch. Who thought? Now I can come back from any other hatch without anyone ruining my clothes. Uh huh. Without anyone killing me, more like. I think that's a bigger problem here. You've got connections, Sally. You can get new clothes. Hmm. Okay. That should be it. I hope that there's no one in there. Oh, it's just a door. Oops. I half expect to see some horribly mutated Cheshire cat watching me from one of these trees. Uh huh. Um. Okay. Oh, there's someone in there too. I would have. I would love to look around a bit. But also, I'm scared of dying. We just picked up a lot of weapons, although I suppose we can't wield them. Yeah, I I don't I don't have a death wish. I don't go in there. So, oh, oh where great. do I get the key card to this? Oh great. Um, well, I guess that's the only w option. So I guess I have to talk to, talk to this lady. How good that we found another weapon. Can we even use this? It seems that we can. So I guess I'll have to... Ew. So-called toxic water. To Jimmy Cardigan from Dr. Anton Verloc. So-called toxic water. I was dismayed to learn that six rat home employees quit over over fears that the joy factory wastewater causes plague a better supervisor would surely have stopped such rumor mongering it is your own fault for rejecting my suggestions that you test the waters on wastrels to allay worker fears i was quite insulted by your suggestion that these experiments would be unethical we cannot cure wastrels therefore surely experimenting on them is the correct ethical choice logic clearly dictates that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few if you cannot see your way to agree then perhaps someone else would be better suited to be supervisor oh well dr verloc is definitely questionable oh no okay we did it not ladylike, was it? Definitely not. But I hope that this... 
did something. Because I would have a problem if I need a lockpick. Because I don't. There are so many... No. Right? <sighs> Wait a second, what's this? Wait a second, so it is here. It's an elevator. Oh, is there maybe some duct that I can climb into or something? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. That doesn't sound too safe. Okay. Kind of glad that. I'm sure. Lab, but he always said it was my imagination. A lab partner knows. Oh. I guess Sally, you were more than his lab partner, right? Please stand by for decontamination. Okay. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Oh my. What has happened here? But I think it's safe to say that there's no one here, so... What is going on here? What happened to these people? September 12th. I've got to learn to give up some possessions. Or I'm not going to win a race with a garden snail. Think we don't matter. Just because we can't take joy. That gives you the right to stop us with plague. Calm down. This experiment has approval from Dr. Verloc himself. Stop, Dr. Verloc. Tommy King's milk drank your fucking test tube and he was a bloody dead mushroom farm by dawn. Everybody knows we have to do something. This is something. Look, just drink it down. There's a good girl. Why don't you drink it? For science! How did you get out of your... God! Bottoms up! God! No! <laughs> Oh, wow. So they were trying some new formula stuff on... On... On wastrels. That props... Probably that's to... Um... The plague, in the first place. Wow. That is horrible. Those poor people, I mean, they were... They're already suffering enough because they are forced to remember and now they're also forced to be detesting guinea pigs for Dr. Verloc's crazy inventions. I would like to know if we meet him again. Dr. Verloc, I mean. Okay, I don't really know what I'm going what I'm doing here, but I think I'm just gonna craft stuff because I'm starting to. Although maybe it's time to carry a little bit more. Yeah, we have the skill points to buy this one. Also, no, we don't have enough for this. So wait, I just wanna. 
notice footsteps from further away. That also that's also nice. Okay, sprint quietly is also good. Huh. I think I'm gonna go with this one first now because I want to go back to walk around in the night without any problems. So what's this? Blueprint Dexapam. What's all this? I don't know. It's a rotten apple. What's all this? Antiseptic. Rubbing alcohol, I think we have enough of that. Antiseptic bandage. This could definitely be used. Oh, resignations. To Ant and Verloc from Jimmy Cardigan. All my men have quit or gone on holiday. Despite doubling their joy, they don't seem to fancy working on an island where the city is dumping downers like some sort of latter-day leper colony. I can no longer staff the waste pump facility under these conditions. Under these conditions, but I will personally remain here as long as I can, out of duty. You're welcome, you bastard. So it seems like Doctor Verloc is a man of science, meaning that. Oh. You have the plague. You're going to kill me if I let you out. Day two. I'm so sorry. But there's a key card in there. Oh, great. Hmm. I think I'm going to be ready to run away soon. So, yeah. What I wanted to say is that Dr. Roloch seems, seems like a man of science. Meaning that... I don't know. I guess he doesn't care too much about the people, but about the scientific process. He doesn't really, I don't know, bother about the ethical stuff. So if I open this now... Will they freak out? Yeah, they will. Probably. Or are you going to thank me because I set you free? Okay. We can all agree to live in peace. What's this keycard doing here? Yeah, I bet whoever yeah. left it was wearing a dress without pockets. I don't want to search that toilet, to be honest. So... <sighs> I'm not sure. Can I pass them without attacking me? Yeah. Great. So I'm gonna let you out, too. Oh. Yeah, so you're suspicious of me now. Great. The other guys are nice to me. Neither is you. Oh, come here then. Yeah. Better you than me. I wanted to let you out. You ungrateful jerk. So, but what I wanted to do is I want to get this letter down. What? You too? I gave you a chance. Ungrateful lot. Okay, oh, buddy. Baby, I wouldn't do this for anybody else. Okay, buddy, but you're going to stay quiet, right? Jerk. That's what you get. Oh. So, yeah. I would love to go upstairs, but I don't really... There, there's gotta be a button or something. But there isn't. I don't see anyone. I don't see any button here. Because I'm sure I can just jump it. There's gotta be some mechanism to let the letter down. To, not the letter, the letter. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess it will remain a mystery. I'm just gonna leave.
so we should be able to open the door now if the elevator carries us up again so i'm not so sure about that oh the door opens again how nice so let's go although I'm, sally needs this for her i suppose i just shove my canteen in there and hope it doesn't burn my hat full canteen I hope Harry's right about getting the mercury out. So... Okay, I have enough to do it now. And... I think... Well, this is far away from, from anything else. Now I'm gonna travel home now enough of this place mind the gap please sally is working on a natural formula for joy but she needs all those toxic waste from the real joy for her lab sounds kind of weird maybe it will explain itself later but i guess we should Ooh, wait so Okay, um... Oh, it's late. I think we should sleep till curfew ends. We will... No, we don't... We're not feeling guilty, but maybe we will be overburdened because... We didn't hold our child in a long time. Okay, no, it works. So, let's go up. And let's go home. Okay, and we're home again. So, let's craft some mercury amalgam. That was right. it, right? Yeah. Next ingredient pituitary extract. Oh, really? Stuart Adams was tinkering with my old extractor, wasn't he? Maybe I can buy it back from him. Or borrow it. Um, really? We need to go back to that guy? Or his wife? Oh, well. I'm just gonna hold the child for a sec. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall And down will come baby cradle and fall So Okay Where are we gonna go next? Um Neutral track access hatch Well How lovely um, well, I'm actually thinking more about going to Lionel, although no, let's just, no, I didn't want to do that. Um, no, let's, let's follow, oh, I can't, I need to go out. So, yeah, no, I was thinking about going to Lionel first, but uh, let's just follow. Why can't I travel from here? Can I travel from here? No. Can't travel from a back alley. Okay. Can I travel from here? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking about going to Lionel, but I don't know. We can do it's that like later. Childbirth. Too. You barely remember the misery. So, here we are back again. Oops. Oh, yeah, that's this one. I forgot.
Yeah, I know, I just climbed a fence. How suspicious of me. Ah, okay. It's right around the corner, so... It's something. At least it's not a long way. So! Is his hmm. wife still here? I could use a bit of money. And I bet Stuart wouldn't mind having a few Sally specials to sell. The old top shelf. Stuart doesn't mind, probably, but what about his wife? Oh, How he's back. And he looks exactly like Ni like Lionel. Oh. Hi Sally. there. Hey! Oh. You never come by anymore. Well, Siona. Oh, Cerberus. I. She's never understood me, Sally. Not like you do. She mentioned, among other things, that you've improved my extractor. Have you still got my extractor? I have. Oh, you're going to be very proud of me. It's much quicker now. Might even uh, sting a little less. You've improved it. Would you like to test it out? You sure Fiona won't murder you? Oh, oh she barks, but she don't bite <laughs> much. <laughs> I'll let you know how it works. Honey pituitary extract from someone who's been exposed to mustard gas. Mikey Forrester's clinic ought to have a patient or two like that. I'll send him a note on the blower. What? Really? Are we going to do some... You're going to need some human samples from some patients? Okay. So what else does he offer? Got anything yummy in you? Um, well, not a lot that we can afford. Um, although, wait, um, I wanted to do some knockout things. Um, what did I need for that? I needed this, uh, the mushroom, right? Does he have those? Uh, no, doesn't seem like it. It's well, lovely stuff. Yeah, nothing that I need or can afford. So, where do I need to go next? Ah, oh, it's near my home. Oh no, I have to go home to send it. Well, that fits in nicely because so now on the way trains. home. We can um, stop by Lionel and get our hamster bottle for our child. So, okay, first Lionel. Oh, and also Sally seems to have a plan how to transport Gwen unnoticed. I'm really interested in how she's going to sell this to Lionel without... I don't know. Because apparently she's already burned down the bridge where she's having birds. Didn't do anything! Sorry! Oh no! What? That's the one that did it. Trash can was on the wrong side. I guess they would have noticed. Right. I'm, you. I'm not even doing anything, but okay. Again. I'm not even covered in blood. Oh well. I think I'm. I think I lost my way to Lionel's shop. Yeah, I'm almost home again. Well. What can I do for you today? I've got another little tinkering job for you, Lionel. I do so enjoy these little commissions. No one else challenges my imagination quite like you do. That's a rather odd bag. 
What would you need that for? Oh, that's for certain compounds that have to be kept at a very specific temperature and pressure. Aren't you clever? Hmm. Well, it might take a little while, but I think I can figure it out. Come on back in a little while. Huh. But do we now have... No, we don't. Bye. Oh, okay, so... Well, oh. I pop in to see what's new. Um, baby feeder. What? Three hundred? How am I going to afford this? Okay, I'll just gonna. I'm just gonna take a quick look about what we can sell. So definitely not healing mom. Also, there's not really a lot. I don't know value here. Okay, I can sell some records. I'm not gonna sell some flowers. Not. Can sell the power cell. Oh, I remember the song now. It's the song that was playing in the jubilator when we, when we had our jubilator fun ride. Well, let's sell one of this too. Bleach, torch. Oh, great. No, I think we need the bleach. We're going to need the bleach. I'm gonna keep looking, thanks. Well, I think we're going to have to keep feeding our child manually. Seriously, 300 pounds? Also, if, if the baby feeder is costing 300 pounds, then I don't want to know how much this her new carrying bag for Gwen will cost. So maybe we should start saving money for our great escape because I can't imagine I can't imagine anything else that um, Sally wants to do with that bag. Although I do hope that she will choose another way out than Appleholm Station because uh, I guess it's not that safe, especially if you have your one hand full with a baby carrying bag. So. But I guess Sally doesn't know that, so. Also, I hope that we don't have to do the same long way again. So... Okay. Ah, this is wrong. Well. Let's see what Mikey has to say for himself. Someone's upstairs. How'd they get in? Oh no. What? How? I never locked my back door. Well, General, why didn't you let yourself in? You didn't answer my knock. I wasn't home. And you want to lock the door. Oh, the memories always come back. Oh, then you have such dreadful things to remember. Be nice. <laughs> Let me make the bad memories go away. What on earth is that? Are you hallucinating? Rainbow has all sorts of crazy side effects. It couldn't be a cat. Hasn't been a cat since the war. You are going to love this one. It couldn't be a baby. Don't be silly. No one's had a baby in 15 years. Say, ah! Dance with me, Robert. Shame I won't remember any of yours. You do come here to forget. General? Robert? Are you still here? Please don't still be here. He'll forget. 
He has to forget. No one can know about you, Gwen. Especially not the general. What is happening here? Oh, seriously. What is Sally running? I mean, what? what uh, I don't know. No. And what is what? What weird relationship she's having with General? I mean, is that a, okay? Shh! Please be quiet. If only you knew how dangerous it was when you cry. You barely even breathe. Well, sadly, you can't tell her that. That was very strange, very awkward. And I'm even gonna say it, that was a little bit cringy. What's happening here? What is, I don't know, this is like... So awkward. Oh boy. someone meet usual place oh for heaven's sake Mikey you could have just written down the name and sent it up the blower oh well I got to recover from what I just saw it was so awkward so but let's see what Sally thinks. Damn it, that was too close the general can't know nobody can know but especially him because because I don't know why, I just have a terrible feeling. He already thinks I'm his girlfriend or wife or something. Oh, that's it. Ugh. Yo. He heard Gwen. Oh my god, I thought this is it. I gave him oblivion and lots of other jolly things. And I got him dancing, which usually takes his mind off. But you never know with him. He's like a bloody great freight train. He doesn't derail easily. He shouldn't remember, unless there's some surprise drug interaction. He won't remember if there is a god, which if there was, I wouldn't be in this situation, would I? No god would be that petty. Ow, I wonder what he made me take. Not painkillers, that's for sure. Oh, what kind of relationship are they in? That, what? Ah! Ah! I wanna... No. No. Just no. No. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> so apparently the general wants her to be his, I don't know, booty call? I don't know what it is, but... And Sally apparently obliges. Well, I guess if you make the wrong connections you kind of I don't know get called up again and again uh, especially when they're high politicians or generals I don't even know where I'm going am I going in the right direction no or am I no I'm not this is a dead end other street what was that sign a stitch in time. Mrs. Pankhurst is a shop. How long has she had a shop? I shouldn't be surprised. That woman could sew a wedding suit for an octopus. Ah. Ah. Now I'm imagining a wedding suit for an octopus. Some far better picture in my head than what I just saw. Ah. I don't know. If that's what you want to do. I don't know why I'm so grossed out by this scene just now. I mean, it was really awkward though. Am I wondering? I'm just. Right. Wait a second. I'm even. No! Ah! <laughs> Walking to the wrong mission. Please don't. No, he's not in the garden district. So where is he? Um, meet Mikey in the alley, so that's our active quest. But that's... Yeah, okay, so that's the same alley as Lionel. Okay, okay. Ooh, I thought it was 
running to the wrong mission. Because we still can't afford a baby feeder after this, except... Is he paying us? No. That would have been even more creepy, but at least it would have been useful. I still don't know what to make of this scene. I guess just... I don't know. I, I guess Sally has no choice. She just has to play along because it's the general. If she... Um... Uh, if she doesn't play it safe with him, then I don't know. She's gonna have... What are you standing guard for? Yeah, well... I sh oh! Job, you know. Patient records are supposed to be private. I'm not gonna hurt him. I promise. I suppose I didn't really want to know the truth. Don't worry. No one will ever know. <gasps> Arthur! Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. You lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me! Sally! I knew it was you. I, I mean, it's another you. The glasses, the hair, you're all dashing now. But the way you look around, all intense like that, I just knew that's Arthur. How the hell are you? Sally? You look quite stylish. This ancient thing? I've had it two weeks. I'm not even sure it's still in style. Queen and White checked. Your dress. That night you ran out the door and I never saw you again. <laughs> That horrible gingham dress. I had to grab something to put on, didn't I? Wait. You're off your joy. Oh, don't be oh, ridiculous. Oh, you of little faith. I'd never turn you in. You wouldn't believe what I've got myself into. I saw Percy. A picture of him. And I remembered the train. Oh, shit. I have to go find him. I promised I'd take care of How him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk, in the city. Uh, I've been living in the Garden the District. The Garden District? Off the scraps of our former civilization. Oh God. I could help you. I do... know General Bing. Oh, the General. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. You still hate me. Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 we were 16. years. 16! How could you? Because he took me in when my mum died. Because. Because he was so generous. Because he said he loved me. I don't know. Some things just happen whether you want them to or not. We were so close. The two musketeers. Remember? You know how we used to sit on the swings by the crash V1? These days I spend a lot of time there, remembering. Look, it's a horrible, terrible world out there, and no matter how clever and brave and fierce you are now, you'll need a letter of transit to get into the Emerald City. I've missed you for 14 years. I think I can escape Wellington Wells without Arthur. your help, and I definitely don't want any favours from your latest friend. Arthur! Well... There's your answer, darling. Arthur hasn't forgotten you. Shit. Colonel Lawrence? Wasn't he the hero of Ramsgate? I mean, of course, he's been exposed to mustard gas. He was in the Great War. I do need his pituitary extract. I guess I'll have to pay him a visit. <clears throat> okay. Um... Now it's gotten a little bit more clear. What I find a little bit sad and strange is that this conversation was entirely different than what we um, saw when we were Arthur. This, this conversation had a very huge turn because, I don't know, the last time when, when we were Arthur in this scene, <sighs> Arthur did apologize. It wasn't Arthur that left first. It was Sally. And... 
I don't know. Although now it makes more sense. He is mad about it, and the one that um, he was talking about um, that she betrayed him with was his father. Now that we know it, and um, so it seems like Arthur's father seduced her. And Sally took it and I don't know maybe I guess she needed love after what happened to her mom well this definitely is a complicated story but I don't know I still think it's very odd that um, that it was a, a kind of like an entirely different conversation almost I guess it's also a little bit weird of Sally to assume that Arthur just, um, I don't know, forgot everything and... I don't know, just we'll go back and... Hey, how are you, buddy? I guess it's not like that anymore and I guess it's not that easy and... I guess she could have, I don't know, imagined that happening but... Yeah, I don't know. So, yeah. Oh, although I forgot, there's an there's a diary entry about Arthur. I ran into Arthur on the street. He's exactly the same. I guess because he was always a little formal. Those big black je suis un homme sérieux glasses, keeping his jacket on after school, even on hot days. Only now he's grown into himself and he looks amazing. I can't remember what I said. I insulted him apparently. It's always so easy. I thought he'd chop my head off. What was I supposed to tell his dad? No, you're practically my stepfather. That would have gone over Brillo. I don't know. Why couldn't she have done that? Damn it. What is Arthur up to? Another implausible scheme? He's going to get killed. I wanted too much to... S I wanted too much to stay help i've got a bloody baby but he was so awful all i could get out was sorry sorry i'm sorry and i want to help you and who even knows if he heard any of it i've got to find him when we're together we're unstoppable arthur and sally sir galahad and the lady of the lake the two musketeers maybe on another day he'd listen to reason he's on the old swings thinking a lot he said in the garden district Say what you will about our starvation diet, at least we're all off the smokes. He'd help. He'd make a fuss, but in the end he'd help. He can't help if it he's too decent, if I just told him. But can I trust him? People change, except for me. I'm always the same. I wish Gwen were his. Then she'd be smart for sure and not evil at all. Okay, I'm pretty sure now that Dr. Verloc is Gwen's father. Um... Yeah. I don't know. I I don't know. I think I just paid enough attention during the story that I realized that to say that Sally didn't apologize for anything. She just tried to act all over and to act like nothing has happened. Correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm just Sally bashing as usual. I don't know. No, I'm not bashing Sally. I just no. No. So, this was the house that Arthur couldn't get into, and now the door is open. So, hello. I bet I can just walk right on in. <laughs> Probably. Sorry, we're very busy. The family is in mourning, and will be shortly. With any luck. I've come with the Colonel's prescription. Prescription? What does he need with medicine? He's He's dying. No thanks. I know you're a clever chemist and all, but he's very old, and, and we've decided to, to let nature take its course. Oh, it's not a cure. You can't cure old age, can you? <laughs> this is really just to help ease the way. Help him sleep. Wouldn't mind if he slept a bit more. Always oh, ringing that goddamn bell. All right, I'll give him the pills. I'm afraid it goes in the other end. <laughs> Uh, I suppose you'd like to administer it. I can do that. I understand that the family is sometimes uncomfortable. Great. Well, up you go. 
Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure. Henry Lawrence Jr. Can I pass, please? Thanks. Ah, oh, so this no, is how the house it's looks. In the will. We agreed. That was before you put oh. on the Sheraton sofa. The How odious McClear sisters. Edmund. You put him up to it because it comes to me in the will. Serves you right. You knew I loved that sofa. Well, you can have it now. What will you trade me? Wow, that's sofa. really nice of them. I mean, he's not even dead and they're already hands. arguing about the will. Aw, oh, you like he was that, a fan of dogs. You? Well, I hope you have lots of potpourri. It does whip. I think you should pay me to clear it. It's your sofa. Or will be. It's Edmund's piss. Oh boy. So, where is that? Oh, yeah. If you wake him, you wipe him. Oh. How nice of them. Honor? Regina? No. Is it? Is that you, Hope? I, I thought you were gone on holiday. They've been beastly to me, your sisters. I'm sorry, Papa. They are waiting for me to die. I'm surprised I haven't woken up with a pillow over my face. How horrible. We survived artillery and mustard gas, but your daughter's your enemy now. You're not Hope, are you? Who are you? Who? Honor! Regina! Help! Mm. This will only sting a little. <laughs> you deserve better. We don't have a lot of heroes. Alright. I have my maturity extract and my amalgam. I need to replace the saffron and the methadrone. How do I get those? Hmm. Oh my... What the hell? Odious McLeary. Well, let's steal that. What the hell? We are some... I don't know. Oh, poor guy. What kind of monsters are we? We just... Ah, oh, no. What what kind of device was that? How... Ah. No. So, I just... No, I guess there's nothing in here. Well, let's go then. Figures. Everything's great. Goodbye. Oh. Sally Boyle! What a lovely bunch of non-suches. From your mum's garden. But she's crying. Can you make me different? I want to be different. But you are different. She means like everyone else. I'm supposed to care about dresses and dances and all I can think about are rockets and chemicals. Can you give me something to make me silly? For a couple of hours, I dare say. Shush. You don't have to care about dresses and dances. You just have to pretend to. Your mother told you to always tell the truth, didn't she? The lies they tell children. But you ladies don't care about dresses, do you? But I love dresses. Keep to your chemicals for later. Later? Later when? Things change. What do you mean? Do you know something? Where did you all go? The weird sisters. They're always making potions and things out of herbs. I bet they could help me. Hmm. So is this, are these the same witches that have this weird um, chest? Probably. We can't travel to there, no. Oh, no, really? We have to walk there all over again? Oh, great. Well, this is definitely something for the next episode. And... Well, there was a lot happening this time. Oh, we have some skill points to spend. Um, what's this? Joy lasts longer and gives you less of a hangover. 
I don't know if we really need that because I think we're really good on the sunshine right now. Heal better, get the best prices with shopkeepers. That sounds like a good thing too. Also the sprint quietly thing. Yes, this is what I'm gonna go for first. I think we have 30 we have 30 points available. We we can do a lot now. Reduce visibility at night, yes. And I think I'm going to go with this first. So now we have seven points left. Hmm, there's nothing much to buy now. Okay. But still, that was a good one. So um, next episode, we are going to visit the Weird Sisters all the way through the Garden District again. I think this time I'm really gonna run off camera. So, yeah, probably I'm gonna see you when we're there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.